Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Bill and this is Task Warrior Lesson 9 on Reports and UDAs. So no custom commands on this particular lesson because we're just combining what we already learned in previous lessons. But uh, here's a link to uh, the, uh, the notes page. So if anything does come up uh, after recording has been posted, I'll update that page there. So let's jump into it. All right, let's do a quick task list and we can see we have some older tasks so let's just mark these as done so 8 9 10 11 12 say done say all do a task list again there we go if we do a quick um, task all you can see all the tasks there including the ones we just marked done task waiting shows our pending tasks some of them from last week we're going to add another task. Uh, we're going to add another uh, cake order, so to speak. And then we're just going to update our uh, .task RC this time to accept a cost because this lesson is going to use user defined attributes or UDAs. And we're going to filter, we're going to create a custom report for cost. So let's add a, uh, let's modify our task RC. So we're going to nano our .task RC. And we're going to scroll down. And so here we have UDA as cost. That's what we're going to reference in our function in our dot bash RC. So we'll exit out of this and go nano dot bash RC. And we'll scroll down just to this first line here. We're going to add cost colon dollar sign four. Means our, this is our fourth variable to this. Then we'll save it. We'll reload our dot bash RC and then let's do a new cake Laura and let's do 2017 dash 08 dash 31. And then let's make the project a birthday and then our new variable or cost $35 hit enter and it created a new task. And if we do a task info on 16, we can see there is their cost of $35. We do a task waiting and we can see the three tasks there with the amounts of 70, 50, and 35. Now the 70 and the 50, if you remember from the last lesson, we brute forced those amounts into those uh, tasks. Uh, whereas the birthday cake, we added it as we built the task. So full disclosure, I'm not a programmer, so I don't really understand. Probably It's probably something different between an integer and a string kind of thing. Uh, but uh, I'm sure somebody in the comments could uh, uh, enlighten us as far as the why the difference on there. So let's create a new report. Go nano.taskrc. And we're going to scroll down and create a new subsection of custom reports. And then we're going to build our report. Report. Dot, we'll call this uh, cake cost. Camel case it dot description. This would be our description. Just call it cake cost. And then report dot cake cost again dot columns equals cost. Then we're going to save it and simply just do task cake cost. And there you can see that it's only showing uh, the column cost and the tasks that have a value in that column. So pretty easy out of 34 tasks. You can see three of them have a cost assigned to them. All right. Well, I hope you like that reports and UDAs. So I use it a whole lot. I will sometimes take that report and then uh, write it to a text file. And then you can, uh, I have to clean it up a little bit because sometimes the, some of the formatting carries over. Uh, but then you can run all kinds of like computational scripts against it, Python, whatever like that. So the next lesson will be context. Context is uh, pivots off of tags. So you want to check that out. And I think that's going to be our last lesson. That'll be lesson 10. So if you like this series, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you soon.